LCJ 140, Team 140, I should say. Welcome to May 13, 14, 15, et cetera, as we roll right into Mod 3 already. Yes, it is breathtaking how fast these terms go. So, as always, do the best you can to plan out your time. And more specifically, plan out the level or volume or amount of cerebral energy, the brain energy you need to be articulate, to do your reading, to offer robust responses in your discussions, etc. This is a very important course, not just to us, but to the entire discipline, as you well know. Communication is critical. And I know I'm preaching to the converted. I'm very impressed with what I've seen so far, especially the exchanges. I see a tremendous amount of passion uh, and grit and perseverance, dedication to your craft, to the course, and to each other. I think the exchanges have been awesome. And as always, you know how to get a hold of me. I'm available by phone seven days a week and evenings more often than not. If I miss your call, please let me know who you are and give me a good, leave a good or a preferred callback number. So you had this one here, this discussion, make a case. It was just very, very good. Okay. And I think in many respects, the actions were quite obvious. There was a civil judgment and I believe the officer was terminated, all these things. But it was really a great example. And I think the exchange, actually, the uh, yep the, the exchanges between all of you were outstanding. Very, very good. And you're really, uh, a lot of people had a great, uh, did a great job dissecting the situation. Again, not being judgmental. Very difficult job. We all know that. So you had your, you, don't forget, always, always take a look at the resources you have. Okay. You have your practice activities. And you had your 2-3 module assignment. Okay, make sure, as always, review, press rewind if you have to, when I break down the rubrics so you know exactly what is expected of you. And it's not the world according to me. You know, it is the world. Uh, it is basically, the, the I, I re, I'm reflecting upon and representing the expectations of the discipline, the profession, et cetera. That's all it is, but it's not the world according to me. So let's take a look at mod three. Let's go back. Over to over here. Bear with me one minute. We're going to check out mod three. Okay. Make sure you read through the introduction to the module itself. It tells you exactly what's going on, what to expect. It does help you strategize and plan. You have a check your knowledge. Great resources are here for you, situational awareness, okay? Make sure that you do this. Look at them, okay? They are there for a reason. They help you. They help you with your citation. Remember, always honor to the best of your ability the demands and the stipulations of APA formatting. It's critical. That's how we provide evidence of fact. Now, let's take a look at the requirements and the rubric for this Mod 3 Journal Guidelines and Rubric. Now, this is where your writing skills are quasi-put to the test. Okay, make sure. I'm not going to read this word for word, but what I am going to point out here is the following rubric criteria. This is the guide that instructors we use in order to assess, support, uh, you know, offer advice and counsel, correction, and also accolades when you do things with excellence. Okay, so you're identifying a situation in which your communication style approach caused a breakdown in communication. Describe, oh, there it goes again. Get out of there. Describe how your verbal communication created a barrier. Describe how your nonverbal communication created a barrier between you and the other person. Make sure you look at the bulleted questions here. You want to respond in as much a robust, robust fashion as possible without overwriting. Okay, this is about volume, this is about being specific. And you're writing to teach. Teach me. Okay? This is kind of like show and tell in a way. But you need to teach me. Pretend that you are writing, as always. You're writing to an audience that has no idea what you're talking about. And you're introducing them to a really great topic and how you did it. So describe what you would have changed to improve the communication, etc. Then follow the bullet points. And always, many students told me they were successful because they put the rubric uh, they use the rubric as their guide, they set it aside, et cetera, so they know that 
Critical. Articulation of response clearly conveys meaning with the correct grammar, sentence, structure, and spelling. Be very careful with slang terms, street terms, colloquial, etc. Watch your run-on sentences. You know, and if you are citing sources, make sure you are using. You know, I'm sorry, using sources. Make sure you cite them appropriately to, to support your work. Okay, this is a quasi presentation. It is a lesson plan. Okay, etc. So make sure that you do support what you're saying with at least some facts. Do the best you can. You identify the situation, et cetera, all the way down. But notice, though, I'm going to say again, <clears throat> again, now, I am the retired dean of the program, and I was the project manager, uh, this, what you, the chief product officer for the development of this program. And what we did to make sure that everyone understands that in our profession, criminal justice, human services, the helping professions, we can never be misunderstood. So articulation response is up here at the top, Okay. So you want to make sure that you write, you write very clearly, okay? Try not to wing it. It's very difficult when you're in a hurry. So again, plan your time, plan your writing. So that's what you have coming up with uh, the bulk of the work this week. You have, make sure you look at your resources. You have a practice activity and you have a quiz. So it's not a lot, of, a lot of work, okay? You want to concentrate on your writing, et cetera. Let me know if you need any help whatsoever. I am here. I have your back. Let me know if you encounter any difficulties, difficulties or issues. I'll do the best I can to work with you individually. So have a great week, great weekend, et cetera, and please take care.